Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren McCall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Hey, watch it, Sailor. That's the second time in three blocks the car's almost run you down. What's the matter with you? Shannon's place. The Hotel Nifty, rooms 350. What? No, I don't like it. You don't like what? Slogan for a new stationery. The Hotel Nifty, rooms 350. Well, what's the matter with it? It tells the story. It says that Shannon's place is a classy hotel and the rates are reasonable. Yeah, I know, but I... But what? Now, listen to this slogan. Shannon's place. Rest in Havana in your private cabana. Who's got cabanas? It makes it a problem, doesn't it? (laughs) It's too late anyhow. Sanchez has already printed the stationery. My name's on the letterhead, isn't it? Right under running hot and cold water. That's nice. Hey. Hey, look. Sanchez's shop is dark. Well, he just called you 15 minutes ago, didn't he? Yeah, he said come right over. The stationery was ready. Come on, sailor. Sanchez! Sanchez, it's Slate Shannon. Try the door, Slate. It's open. Sanchez! Sanchez! Hey, something's wrong, sailor. Strike a match. Something really is wrong. Look at the place. Yeah, torn apart like... Slate, there's someone here. I never... No. I got him, sailor. Hold him. I'll hit him. Slate, where are you going? Uh, oh, Slate. Say, what did you hit me with, sailor? I don't know. I, I picked something up. Feels like a monkey wrench. I'm sorry. I guess my aim was bad. Hey, what's all this about? Who knows? Maybe somebody else doesn't like our slogan. <laughs> We'll stop here first, Harry, at my place. That'll be nice. Only to heal the bruises the man gave you in the printing shop. Then you're going home. Here's my key. Open the door. After you, my dear. You got a cut under your eye. There's collodion in the bathroom. I'll get it. I reckon Sanchez's joint exhausted me. Collodion just won't help the tired feeling I got. What'd you do with Sanchez? Beat him up, whispered a word of advice in his ear, threw him in a private gutter where I can find him again. That'll make him understand us? Sure it will, baby. It's the only way to talk to these people. Sanchez just didn't know what we've got going for us. Fake American passports. man in my position could get fat selling things like that. There's such a hunger for him. But we need Sanchez. Will he keep engraving them for us after what you've done to him? Now that he's figured out what he was doing, he'll put his heart and soul into it because I asked him. Poor little man. He should never have tried to use his brain. Never said he was going to report us to the authorities. And to the consulate. Have they ever questioned you about the things you do on the salary they pay you? (laughs) I told them I was tutoring a Cuban lady in English. The boys at the consulate understand things like that. What about those people who walked in on you? Shannon, the Havana character? Yeah, it worries me. Leave him to me, Jenny. Leave everything to me. Have I ever failed our great love? Have I? Mr. Shannon, he go to printing shop For stationery with name on top He go inside, then he toboggan When monkey wrench connect with noggin 
Miss Sailor, she wished that she was dead for making Lump on boyfriend's head. But Lump is happy, it doing fine with cold compresses and iodine. Mr. Shannon. That's enough, King. Hold still, Slate. Ouch! Hey, that hurts. And I cry on my shoulder. See? I know all the cures. I appreciate it. It's not every day a man gets the opportunity to get banged with a monkey wrench. I've looked up the records. There, there, that looks better. You can hardly notice, can you, King? The bump doesn't show a bit. From this angle, Mr. Slate looks like a man wearing small top hat. Stand over here where I am. He looks like a man wearing two small top hats. I'll get it. I wish to see Mr. Shannon, please. Who are you? Oh, that is him in the chair. Please step aside. Hey, you can't barge in here. Mr. Shannon? Yeah, what do you want, Buster? I am Juan Sanchez. I have heard that you were at my brother's place of business. The business being that of printing. It is so, see? It is so, see. That's the way you want it. Having not found my brother, Carlos, you called Senora Sanchez, the wife of my brother. Informed her so, that my brother was not at his shop. That the shop was ruined. That you were thrown here and there and hit heavily. See? That's a fair version of it. What's on your mind? On my mind is this. I know where is my brother. I will take care of the affairs of the family of Sanchez. And as I have heard a tourist say, you will keep your fat head out of my business. I will say goodbye to you. Goodbye. Close your mouth, Slate. Keep my fat head out of his business. That's what he said, Mr. Shannon. I don't care whose brother he is. I know. You're going to find out what happened to Sanchez. I like Sanchez. I've done business with him for years. He's in trouble. He needs help. Rubs off on you, doesn't it? People's troubles. No! No, 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 please! Hey, what goes on? Please, no! Come on. Ah, there he is on the patio. Uh, well, he's not going to take care of his brother's problems anymore. Juan is dead. Like I said, it rubs off on you, doesn't it? Yeah. Starts in the printing shop and it continues on my patio. Call the cops, sailor. I'm going to find out what makes that shop print obituaries. The rotary press goes in that corner, boys. Be careful with it. This is very delicate equipment. Very expensive. When you're through with that, boys, I want you to... Are you one of the workmen? Will you please... No, I'm not a workman, but I could do some work for you. Well, that would please me. I'll make a note of that, Miss... Uh, what name do I put down? Jenny Sloan. I'm Slate Shannon. I've heard of Slate Shannon. This is a red-letter day for me. I sell a big order and I meet Slate Shannon. A girl like you sells printing equipment? There must be people who want to take you away from all this. There are, they do. But maybe you can make a better offer? Yeah. But first, I've got to find Sanchez. Why must that come first? His brother was shot down, killed in my hotel. I figure things like that has a priority. It does, doesn't it? And you'd rather tell Sanchez his brother was killed. And... You don't know it, Slate, but you just made me an offer. I like it. Well, we could tell him together. Where is he? He called my office from his home. Ordered all this. Asked me to install it for him. Because he was too sick to manage for himself. From his home, huh? Mm-hmm. So you'll understand I'm needed here. I couldn't go with you. <laughs> the things I understand, Ginny. Just you wait. Hey, is there a phone here? There on the wall. Need change? Thanks, I've got it. Hello, King. Put Sailor on. Yeah, well, tell her she can wash out my socks later. Put her on the phone. You good with socks, Jenny? Sailor has a... Oh, Sailor? Meet me down the corner from Sanchez's house. Yeah, right away. Yeah, well, I'll tell you why later. Uh-huh. Oh, and Sailor, don't forget to put my argyles on the stretcher. Yeah, 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 I know. I haven't got any argyles, but I can dream, can't I? Sailor, hmm? That'd be Miss Duval. Chalk up another red letter for me. Tell me something, Ginny. If I don't have to shout. I'll lean close. Better? 
better. How come Sanchez, a poor man, a sick man, can afford to buy all this equipment from you? What does he need it for? You'll ask him when you see him, hmm, Slate? Then come and tell me. 16 Avenida del Presidente. I want to know, too. I'll do that, Jenny. Real soon. I still don't understand what you're trying to do, Slate. I'm looking for some new answers. Well, tell me the new questions, huh? Why is that printing shop wrecked and put together again with expensive equipment? Where does a beautiful American girl named Ginny Sloan come into all this? A beautiful American girl, huh? Where did you find her? Next to a linotype machine. You've got red printer's ink on your lapel. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you got to watch those linotype machines. Oh, here's Sanchez's house. Hey, let me knock. What's the matter? Don't I know how to beat on the door? No one's answered, have they? You looking for Senor Carlos Sanchez? See what happens when I knock slate? Taxi cabs appear. Hey, we're looking for him, Chico. I give him to you. He's in the cab. Hey, come back here. I give you the cab, too. Now, let's go look, sailor. Sanchez. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Beaten. Bloody. You want to go knocking on any more doors, sailor? Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Look, Sanchez, try to understand. You stay here with us until you get well. Understand, Sanchez? Si, senorita Duval. Comprendo. You have been kind. Who did this to you? Beat you like this? Hurt you? Tell us, Sanchez. Do not ask me, senorita. I will not answer. You're beaten like a stray dog. Your shop is wrecked. Your brother is murdered. What does it get you keeping your mouth shut? Another beating? Because you like living this way? Please, senor Shannon. The beating was to me. Do not take it unto yourself. It belongs to me. Cops tell me they found an illegal passport in your brother's things. A fake United States passport. Is that what you're mixed up in? All that fancy printing equipment. Did you order it? No, no, I... Of course I order it. How else does one attain such things? He buys it from a merchant. You bought yourself a whole lot, didn't you, Sanchez? The payment was good, too. Look at you. Leave him alone, Slate. Senor Slate, there's a man at the desk who wishes to talk with you. Be right there, King. Sing to Sanchez, sailor. Kiss his cheek. Do something, anything that'll take the hurt away. I'll try, Slate. At the desk, huh, King? Yes, sir, Mr. Sleep. It's uh, Mr. Harry Turner. King says you wanted to talk to me, Mr. Turner. It's on your mind. Carlos Sanchez. I've come to take him home. You a relative? Only a friend. Sanchez does printing for us at the United States Consulate. I've grown very fond of him. This morning we heard he'd been in an accident. I'd like to take him to his home. Do what I can for him. How'd you know he was here? Well, some people saw you take him out of a cab. Bring him here. Word got around and got to the consulate. We got up a little collection, and I was appointed to pick him up. All and... right. He's badly hurt. Take it easy with him. Sanchez, you want to see this man? See your turn. Hello, Carlos. I'm sorry about what happened. I've come to take you home. You want to go home with him, Sanchez? Of course he does. I ask Sanchez. See, si, I do. I'm very happy to go home with him. Happy, see. Si. Okay. Give Turner a hand, sailor. I'm going out. Where? Yeah. All right, don't answer me. Surprise me when we get there. Uh, you're not going, sailor. You'd clutter it up. This one belongs to me. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, hello, Slate. Am I disturbing you? Yes, you do. Come on in. Place looks a mess. I undressed on the way to bed last night. Wait till I pick up these things. <sighs> Sit down right here. Thanks. You said you'd come to see me. You couldn't wait, could you? I've been thinking about you, Jenny. Don't do it that way, Slate. Too many men start off like that, not Slate Shannon. I knew a girl like you once in Hong Kong. She wore bells on her ankles, and when I said goodbye to her, she tried to stick a knife into me. The scar on your cheek? Uh-huh. There. So I can share it with that girl with bells on her ankles. <laughs> That's funny. She did the same thing after she cut me. It's going to be good, Slate. I found Carla Sanchez. Later, Slate. He was almost beaten to death. Do you know why? Slate. Tell me why, Jenny. Now, at this time, it means that much to you. Oh, I'm going to tell you why. I don't like you so much, Slate. Last night, you were in his shop. You were delivering a whole lot of merchandise, expensive stuff. I told you. I... Yeah, that you worked for a printing supply house. But Sanchez never called you. He didn't order that stuff. I... I know, you... Delivered it to the wrong place. Listen to me, Slate. It's got something to do with passports. Sanchez is an engraver, a good one. He could have made plates for a counterfeit. Printed passports for illegal immigration to the States. He could make a lot of money out of that. A lot of people could. You and... You. <laughs> I don't see how. A lot of people come to Shannon's place. The word could have it that your hotel's a fine place for people who want to go to America. Who do you work for, Jenny? Wait a minute. This is a small gun, Slate. I can make up a fine excuse to the police why I had to kill you. Who do you work for? I'd weep over your body till the police came. Jenny! Jenny, put the gun down. All right, Slate, if you say so. No more questions, Slate. No more questions. <laughs> King, stop playing that thing and listen to me. Do what he says, King. A man with lipstick smeared all over his ugly puss. You gotta do what the man says. What? Been cuddling up with a linotype machine again, Slate? I see she got some new ink. The color's different this time. <laughs> yeah, it's tasty, too. Had Mr. Turner take Sanchez home? Carried him like he was a baby. Imagine a man doing desk work having muscles like that. Oh, you know that because he told you? Because I asked him. He swore it was desk work. I didn't believe him at first, but he finally convinced me. Nice fellow, that Mr. Turner. I bet he doesn't care if a linotype lives or dies. King, here's 200 bucks. Go buy yourself a fake American passport. I don't wish to go no place, Mr. Slate. Besides, I got a passport. Humor the fellow, King, because the fellow wants to play cops and robbers. You know Havana, King. Find the right alley. Wave 200 bucks under the right nose. Buy the passport. Then come back here and tell me who you bought it from. King might get hurt, Slate. Look what happened to Sanchez. Don't worry, lady sailor. King Moses take care of himself. It's like Mr. Slate say, I know Havana. Havana knows me. She will do me no hurt. <laughs> What do you want here? Please, mister. They tell me come to you. In Barrio, they say for what I want, go ask Mr. Harry Turner. You are Mr. Harry Turner? Where in the Barrio? At the place of the Palace of Jollies. They say many times their people come to you for same thing I need. I have done bad thing in Havana, mister. I must go away. Two states will be nice. You're all alike. You do a bad thing, you must go away. Get in here. A pleasure, mister. Tell you what it costs. They say you will tell me this thing, mister. What's it worth to a man who has to go away? I have only $200 American, mister. Is enough? Is all I got. Please, mister, they catch me. Prison. Give it to me. 200 You get away cheap. The passport? You know Sanchez's printing shop? You'll find it. Be there at 9 o'clock tonight. The passport? I'll check with my mood. Knock it out. <laughs> He 
told you to be there at nine tonight, huh, King? Yes, Mr. Slate. Well, you did good. What do you think of your desk job now, sailor? Well, he beats people, kills people, makes passports on the side, money on the side. I'll have to know him better before I can give you an opinion. Say, what in the name of... What are you doing with knitting needles? You said you wanted some argyles, didn't you? <laughs> you think you can finish them by nine, sailor? I want to look spiffy for Mr. Harry Turner. Yeah, I told you to go home, sailor. What are you following me for? Don't you know I always follow you? Wherever you go. This time, I just happen to be with you. Now look, there's liable to be trouble. Well, if anything happens to you, I want to be there to get my argyles back. All right, sailor, just keep your mouth shut, that's all. If you like it that way. Just the way it was before. Lights in this shop are out. The door is open. Anybody here? Hey! In the back room. Hey, let's go. Oh, hello, people. How's business? You didn't think you were fooling anybody, Shannon, sending that guy around for a passport. You told me you weren't going to ask any more questions, Slate. I'm disappointed. Is this the one, Slate? I'm disappointed, too. I told you, sailor. Keep out of it. Ginny tells me she made you a proposition, Shannon. Mm, I've been thinking about it. What's the take? You'll be paid. All you have to do is let us use your hotel for distribution. Yeah, but not for murder, huh? Give my place a bad name. You mean Sanchez's brother? Juan felt his family ties too strongly. He found out Sanchez had counterfeited those plates. He tried to tell his brother of the error of his ways. What did he do? Threaten you? Oh, forget about him. He's dead, isn't he? But you didn't kill Sanchez because you needed him to print the passports. You just beat him up from time to time. It's easy. You beat him up, it hurts him. Give him new equipment, it makes him feel better. All right, Shannon, let's stop rubbing noses. You interested or not? I'm interested as long as I know you're going to hold on to that job at the consulate. <laughs> job at the consulate? He sweeps floors there. When he goes out, he puts a carnation in his lapel, and Havana thinks he's big. Well, Shannon, I haven't made up my mind. I know what's bothering you. That girl. Her. She means you, sailor. Do what you have to do, and let's get out of here. Well, it's not that easy. See, uh, you pose a problem. Jenny and I understand each other. She said it would be good between us. Better than that, Slate. You see? You're going to be in the way, sailor. Oh, I am, huh? You know how it is. Jenny and I met. Something happened. Man finds a new direction when a woman like Jenny happens. That's for all the good times we've had. And that's one for the road. <laughs> well, you settle it for me, sailor. Harry, I'm in. Great. We'll think about you later, Mr. Vall. Sit down. I said sit down. Welcome, Slate. Now we go to work, huh? I was wondering how you'd phrase it. Harry. What? Goodbye, Harry. <laughs> Jenny, you... <laughs> Hello, Slate Shannon. Ah, oh, like the girl I knew once in Hong Kong. Oh, she left a scar. There won't be any of those with me. Show me. Show me, Jenny. All right. Put the gun down. Go ahead, put it down. I don't like my love mixed up with 45. Slick. Put it down. <laughs> Drop it. Sheep. Oh, you two are going to make a happy couple. So help me, Jenny. I'll... I'll pick up that gun, sailor. I've got it. Who do I kill first? Slate, you cheap rotten. When you run out of names, I've got a few more for you. Slate, you can let go of her now. That had to be done my way. I can handle a gun now, sailor. You call the police. Sailor. Go away. You bother me. I brought you something. You can take your dime store jewelry, and you know who you can pin it on. Well, why don't you just turn around and look? See? I brought you a monkey wrench. Just what I've always wanted. Yeah, I had an idea if you clobbered me over the head, it'd make you feel better. 
Thoughtful, huh? Hmm. Give it to me. Here. Well, go ahead. Clobber me. What's the matter with you? What happened when you went to Jimmy Sloan's apartment? Well, she had a gun in her hand, like you're holding that monkey wrench. I'll show you. Come here. Slate. Yeah, that's what happened, sailor. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. 